Walking and hatching eggs during my regular daily activities is actually one of my favorite parts of the game. However, one thing that I constantly find odd is how even though I have walked a lot, the game doesn't seem to register the distance very well. I remember the first day I used this app, I walked for like an hour and the game registered my walking distance as 0.2 kilometers. I've read a few theories such as how you have to walk in a straight line in order for the game to calculate it accurately. I recently collected 9 10 km eggs too, as I actually wanted to hatch them all at once. I read for example that a level 20 powered Pokemon is the max you could get from 10 km eggs where you should wait until you reach that point before hatching them. There were also some theories that it is pointless to wait as the Pokemon power from the egg is based on what level you actually obtained it on. So I thought hatching all the eggs at once will help to add some enlightenment to this debate as I was level 27 by the time I got 9 eggs. For those who question how rare these eggs are too, based on these stats, you can see that 9 out of the 120 eggs I got were the 10 km eggs. The first place that came to mind for me to test the accuracy of the distance tracking was to try a place that wouldn't be a straight line. I decided to walk around the seawall here in a large park where according to all the literatures, a full loop should be 10 km or very close to it. So in my mind, if I walked around this whole area and the distance only registered say 3 kilometers, then I know for sure this thing is way off. Either way, it was going to be a good post-workout exercise while playing Pokemon Go at the same time. So I established the starting point at this Pokestop and began the process of placing the incubators on all the eggs. And as you can see, it was quite a bit of incubators. It's a sight to see. With that, I was off. I often wonder too on whether or not the distance actually calculated when you are in the menu screen or simply catching Pokemon. From my experience, the answer seems to be a definite yes, and that is why I decided to catch Pokemon as well at times when I walked. In many ways, I'm simply replicating how I would normally play the game. It didn't look too promising as I walked and checked the distance where the numbers didn't seem to add up. However, a big factor I noticed is that these numbers don't seem to update very frequently. There could be times where all of a sudden the game decides to update the distance. Or the other common examples are if you walked and then rebooted the game, you would notice that once the game opens up again, it's like the game forced itself to update the distance you walked. So I feel this can be a factor at times too on why people would think it is way off. There was one little hiccup as I did the test, as on a small section of the walk there was a dead zone for me unfortunately where when it came to the internet, for some reason I wasn't getting a signal, so I was unable to record the kilometer there. It didn't take long for the signal to come back though. Here's some view of the area too since the game was down if you guys like to see what it looks like. Once again, I'm actually surprised on how much information about the landmarks you can learn from these Pokestops. I started to walk around about 6pm and as you may notice the game went to evening mode in terms of the graphics. 7pm seems to be the time where it changes. As I reached near the end of the loop, I believed I actually walked further than I should have according to the display map. This kind of worked out I thought as it made up for the lost kilometers during that brief time the internet was unusable. And as you can see, I finally reached my loop destination. Final distance after a reboot appeared to be 7.3 kilometers. Is it very inaccurate? I would personally say so. This kind of falls in line with why my walking distance never seems to match up with what this game says. I decided to hatch the eggs though by walking some extra distances. I'm sure some of you were curious what I hatched and so let's see what I got. First egg is... A Scyther. I actually never had this before, so that was actually kind of a surprise. I know a lot of people complain they kept getting Eevees, so I'm bracing myself for that. Alright, let's see what my next one is. And it's... a Jinx! I'm guessing this is kind of rare in some places, but for me, basically I've seen it in a bunch of places. And this is... An onyx and the, the GPS signal not found okay interesting <laughs> let's see what I'm going too fast how am I going too fast when I'm standing still <laughs> oh a pincer this is actually a good collection for mine too it actually adds to my pokedex and hoping for something I don't have again and this time I get a chancy wow 
I've actually never seen this before. I've, I'm guessing just like the regular Pokemon game, this thing has a ton of HP. I don't know how useful it will actually be though in practicality for this game. And let's see what's over here. An Aerodactyl. I've actually caught Aerodactyls, but they've all been pretty weak. And this one's actually well, pretty decent stats. And what do we have here? Another Onyx. I guess the game is preparing me to be able to evolve it to a Steelix, I guess, in the future update. And Magmar. Oh, I've actually never had Magmar either. Although you might have noticed something funny with this Magmar, which I'll show in the next video because it's kind of related. Unless, unless you actually picked it up. And our next one here. Another Onyx. Wow. These eggs really like onyxes, huh? And as you can see, these are all the CP powers for these Pokemon I got from the 10k eggs. Um, I guess you can make your own judgment whether or not it's based on when you actually got the egg. To me, it just seems completely random, just like anything else. Just as some extra details, I started to collect the eggs again from the Pokestops, and as you can see, in terms of 10 kilometer eggs, I got two. In many ways, it seems like a similar drop rate to, say, an Ultra Ball. I actually did another test with these eggs too, which will be coming in my next video. Till next time!